Hey there, water signs. Welcome to the weekend and welcome to my channel, Healing Tea Talk. My name is Myra and I'm so glad you guys have joined me for this edition of your weekend water reading, you guys. Um, this full moon energy is still lingering. So some of you could be feeling a particular, um, still feeling particularly emotional, could be feeling nostalgic. Um, romantic or um, facing your fears still could be doing that a lot of that is going on Mercury is still retrograde in Leo I think for another week so um, depending on what your Sun Moon rising Venus sign is you could be feeling a little insecure uh, doing some soul searching um, I'm looking at your guidance cards for the weekend of my water signs and I will show those to you now okay at the bottom of the deck already is the star card. So great healing happening for some of you here. So this weekend, some of you are being encouraged to get some fresh air, get out in nature, maybe with your children. Um, but get out, put your feet planted, get your feet planted firmly on the ground, being grounded. Um, your body needs refreshment from oxygenated air generated by grass, trees, plants, and flowers. Spend time outside this weekend, water signs, as near to Mother Nature's cradle as possible. Open your curtains and windows to refresh your home as well. So here's the thing. There's a lot of maternal energy. We know that um, the moon has a maternal quality. So this card came out. Mary Magdalene came out and then Mother Mary came out. If somebody's named Mary, <laughs> come and let me know. Lots of Marys, lots of motherly energy. So some of you guys could be dealing with a mother. Mother issues could have arisen recently, um, but you are being encouraged. It's showing like unconditional love. Some of you guys are also being encouraged to take a leap of faith. And we have the entrepreneurship card here going solo dolo in a workforce venture. Um, and then you have the love card that says, I go where you go. And it says, tell me, are you finding that occasional stranger has a crush on you? That for words you've almost mindlessly chosen, hearts broken too long begin to heal. That I sometimes well up with tears when it's time to say goodbye. Remarkable. Our findings exactly. Psst. Your divinity is showing love the universe. Some of you guys definitely are meeting somebody. You are healing from old wounds with this star card here and this I'll go where you go. Um, yeah, you're moving on. You're moving forward. And some of you guys have done the work. Um, you have definitely done the work. Um, with this moon energy of going into the past, addressing some fears, facing some fears, um, resolving issues from the past. Some of you could have had with a mother or mother figure. You are being encouraged, though, to um, expect a miracle. So we're going to go in the order of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. OK, we're going to do two clarifiers and give you guys a sense of what's going on this weekend. So it looks like fast moving communication could be coming in for some of you. A tower moment is upon us. We'll learn more about that a cancer that could be for you. Let's get a Pisces card. Holy Spirit. What's going on with our Pisces friends? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Holy Spirit for the week of July 19th through the 21st. Okay, Seven of Pentacles energy. This is Earth energy, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. This is analysis paralysis, sort of looking at what you've planted in the past, which is what a retrograde is about. It's about karma. So some of you have some slow moving energy with money. Could be wondering this weekend if this is the right weekend to do something, but you're moving towards a nine of pentacles there, Cancer. I mean, Pisces. So the money is going to come in. It could be coming in slow for you guys, but it's going to come in. All right. And Scorpio. Everything popped out, Scorpio. Four of pentacles here, which is being conservative with your money. 
uh, your resources time and I'm getting energy mostly. You're being very conservative with your energy, conserving, conservative about how you spend your energy on people, things. Uh, love yourself, others in every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. So some of you could be really tight with your emotions, not really wanting to give a whole, whole lot. But I do see a lot of quick communication there, Cancer, on your part. You're either getting it, receiving it, or giving it. The magician, which is manifesting your heart's desires. Somebody's trying to manifest something. Some of you could be waiting to find out if you're pregnant is what I'm getting come on to something here have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered cancer so some of you are being strong you're being courageous you're young um want energy here this is the nine of wands is sagittarius aries or leo so you could be waiting for communication from a fire sign a sagittarius aries or leo let's get another clarifier here pisces on this seven of pentacles Holy Spirit, what is this Seven of Pentacles? What is Pisces waiting on? Okay, Four of Cups. It's lethargic energy. There's somebody who is chilling. Could be a Cancer or Pisces. This is your energy, you guys. So you could be dealing with a, you know, an Earth sign. I don't feel like, I think it's your energy. There's a an ending and a new beginning coming here with this world card here. So something could be bored. You guys are bored, Pisces. You're bored. And you might be moving. You, some of you will be taking a leap of faith. Like you know what? I, you could, and I'm getting bored at work. You're tired of your job. Your job is boring. And some of you guys are like, I'm gonna just make the leap into look at that. <laughs> the full card. I did, yeah, I'm talking good. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You guys are making the leap into entrepreneurship. Like I can't do this anymore. It's too crazy. It's, I'm bored stiff. I need to be doing something more exciting. Making better use of my skill set making better use of my mind. I'm not passionate about it. It's too humdrum. So you guys have procrastinated and then now you're going to make a move. You're going to really put some thought into it. Three of Swords came out. Scorpio an ending. This is the ending. The end of something. Something is dead. Done. Um, you all are recovering from heartbreak. That's what it is. Yeah. You have been recovering from heartbreak. Um, and you're just conservative with your emotion. You probably, some of you may be feeling like, I don't know how I could ever love again after this experience. I'm done. Yeah, could have been an argument with if a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. The sun is at the bottom of the deck, though, you guys. There are some positive outcomes. Let me get, let me see. Yeah, and the need for patience. Temperance. This is a Sagittarius card. Great need for patience on everybody's part here. Okay. Whether you're starting a new business, waiting on communication for somebody, or waiting for the pain and ache in your heart to end, you are in need of divine patience, being balanced in your emotions. Um, all right. Clarifier for this Cancer, Eight of Wands, and the Magician. What are they trying to manifest, Holy Spirit? I feel like many of you, yeah, you're wanting to manifest a pregnancy. You're waiting on news about having a baby, waiting for news. Let's see here. But I feel like you're going to have good news. You're going to have good news. All right, one more clarifier for... My Cancer Friends, July 19th through the 21st, Holy Spirit. Okay. I got to turn these cards. I don't I don't start off with any of my cards in the reverse. Uh, I'm not a reverse kind of girl. I am an upright kind of girl. I expect positive outcomes. That's the whole reason you guys watch these, right? Is to get truth, but you want the best possible outcome ever. And... So I don't do readings with my cards just any old kind of way. They all have to be upright. And then if they flip, that's one thing. But I'm certainly not going to start with them upside down. We're not doing that. 
This is Healing Tea Talk, you guys. And we are looking for answers that heal, encourage, uplift. Speaking of that, um, I will be raffling off the free 30-minute recorded reading tomorrow at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, so if you have commented, subscribed, liked my videos, your name automatically went in the hat. It's not too late to add your name to the list if you would like to become a subscriber. Just subscribe and comment, and I will add your name to the drawing. Um, I will record it. I'm going to go live. Hopefully, my reception won't be terrible, but I'm going to go live, and then the video will be there for whoever wants to reference it. Okay. But it's real easy to claim your prize. You just email me. I know who won, right? <laughs> so I do this every 100 subscribers. I do a free 30-minute recorded personal reading on a subject matter of your choosing, of course. And I get the names and birth dates of the primary parties involved. And um, I do your reading. And it's encouraging and good. I do pray for you guys. Um, I pray for my subscribers. I greatly appreciate your support, your energy, your effort, your trust in the Holy Spirit to speak through me to get you messages that encourage your life. All right, so I think we've sufficiently shuffled here. All right, so I'm looking for one more clarifier for our Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio for this weekend. Holy Spirit, July 19th through the 21st. Highest level of divine guidance. Four. Okay. So Scorpio too, I'm getting somebody has a crush on you and you're not open to love. Somebody's interested and you're like, I'm not. Last time was terrible. This three of swords, it's like I was hurt too bad in the past. I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. All right. So Cancer, you got an eight of Raphael, which is there's something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right. A spiritual quest. You got the eight of, it's comparable to the eight of um, cups. So you got two eights, which speaks to longevity. It speaks to long-term solutions. Um, you guys are trying to manifest a solution. It could have been eight attempts at something is what I'm hearing. Eight attempts at, could be IV, you know, IVF treatments eight attempts at trying to get pregnant, but you are encouraged to expect a miracle. Um, there is another alternative. There's a nine coming, okay, which is wish fulfillment. Nine of cups is wish fulfillment. So you're just one try away from your wish being fulfilled. Um, this is more about a spiritual journey than it is about manifesting something physical, although I know you guys want that. The point, Cancer, is though that you are growing during this time of great patience. You're going to get the outcome you desire, but this comes through growing pains. This temperance card. This is balanced energy. It's being patient. It's expecting being hopeful about the future. And so sometimes our maturity in those areas doesn't come until we've been through something that makes us have to wait with patience. Okay. But it is, you're on a faith journey. You're on a faith journey and it's going to turn out miraculously. So expect your miracle cancer. Expect your miracle. All right. One more card for Pisces, please. Holy Spirit. Pisces, I do believe strongly this is related to entrepreneurship. You are bored. You're not seeing the fruit. I feel like you guys, somebody's waiting on promotion. It's taking too long. The wheel of fortune is moving in your favor, Pisces. That is beautiful energy. It says new beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction. It offers happiness. Did I say it or did I say it? Yeah, you guys are going to go in a new direction. It's entrepreneurship. You're going in a new direction. It's going to be really clear. I'm excited for you. Very excited. The wheel is moving in your favor. Definitely coming out of this five of pentacles energy where it's like, I'm tired of not having enough money. I'm tired of not having enough. And the wheel turns in your favor. Um, help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecy, prophecies. So get your mind. Thoughts become things, um, Pisces. So, Get your mind on something positive. You'll manifest positive things. 
All right. So Scorpio, um, what I'm getting for you guys is that um, this fresh air card is for you guys. Somebody, you guys have been in the house. It's like the windows are drawn. You've got, sorry, uh, fresh air card. Somebody's been in the house too long. You've been in the house, in this energy. I don't want to go out. I don't want to talk about it. Just the four things I like the best are the things I'm going to eat. I'm not going to eat anything different. I'm not going to do anything different. I'm grieving. I'm tired. You got to get out the house, Scorpio. You've got to get out of the house. Be around people. There's someone around you who does love you unconditionally. I think that you don't want to hear it. You're, you're not interested. If somebody could have a crush on you. I'm getting that too. And you are being encouraged to take a leap of faith. Similarly to Pisces, but in love, not work. I'm going to clarify over here for this. Four of Pentacles and Three of Swords. Yeah, some of you have said goodbye to something, but it's time for a new beginning. It's time for a new start. Don't get in, don't get stuck in that energy. I'm getting. Yeah, there's a divine, there's like a new inspired idea, and there's, yeah, change your life. This is Major Arcana number 16. It says, Archangel Chamuel, a sudden revelation that offers freedom, break free of procrastination, embrace the opportunities that change brains, and then the Ace of Michael also popped out. There is like a divinely inspired idea that breaks you free and changes your life, Scorpio. Yeah. I'm going to read that. I wasn't, but I am going to read it to you because I think it's going to help you guys. That's a that's a major arcana. It says it's time to change your life. This card represents a need to leave behind old belief systems and ways of doing things that have become stale and out of date. This could apply to all of you as well. I don't know, uh, Cancer or Pisces, if you've clicked off, but I think it applies. When this card presents itself, the universe is telling you that you can no longer procrastinate on making the changes that you know in your own heart you need to make. Suddenly, everything is crystal clear to you. That's what the Ace of Michael is. This is comparable to the Ace of Swords, Scorpio. A wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. The Swords energy is crystal clear communication and crystal clear thought crystal clear thought processes it says suddenly everything is crystal clear to you change is inevitable if you're to grow and evolve embrace this new direction in your life as liberating and exciting you needn't go through this transformation alone archangel chamuel can help you find the new path and meaning in your life that you long for awakening a sudden revelation that offers freedom unexpected transformations life experiences so yeah you guys have gone through a lot scorpio there has been a dramatic change someone could have passed away or you experienced heartbreak i didn't see the death card but this is the death of something a relationship a way of thinking a way of living a way of communicating you are being encouraged to move forward get out into nature this new opportunity is a potential gateway to to a brand new way of life. This experienced, this experience, Scorpio, is your gateway to a new way of life. Okay? The ups, the downs, the sadness, and then the divinely inspired idea brings you into a whole new way of living and looking at the the world so with that said i hope you guys have a miraculous marvelous weekend comment subscribe i'll add your name to the drawing let me know if this resonated with you if it didn't it could be because you need to take a look at your sun moon rising venus jupiter signs you could do that at cafeastrology.com so this may not resonate with everyone however i do believe there's something some good advice something that came out of it that helps you to have a wonderful weekend you guys have some marvelous outcomes the sun success happiness that you couldn't think dream or imagine it will require some patience to get there but this is your character development temperance is more of a character development trait not be patient like the seven of pentacles waiting on 
carrots to grow and ripen in a garden. This is the type of patients where there's character being developed and it's long-term change. It's character development. So you guys have some things going on that are going to make you happy and make you whole. Love you, water signs. Have a great weekend. Bye.